good morning guys welcome to today's vlog so what do we have in store today well right now it is eight o'clock in the morning i start work at 8 15 i'm right in front of my work so i just want to quickly say hi um i have work today i finish work at 4 15 so it's an early shift i love it and then after tonight actually i'm going to be going to the christmas market um if you guys are not from toronto then we have something called the um the christmas market so it's fun and festive you can buy you know little trinkets for the holiday season there's restaurants and stuff like that too it's nice to walk around and just hang out um so i'll be going a little double date tonight so my boyfriend and i will be accompanying uh my friend valerie and her somebody she might be seeing you know a potential candidate so uh yeah we'll be hanging out with them tonight um what else do we have planned yeah i think that's about it so i guess i will hop in and say hi to you guys when i finish work all right talk soon all right guys so i just finished work i'm on my way to go pick up one we are going to go to dinner tonight i'm really excited i'm so hungry we're trying to we're trying to figure out exactly where we're gonna go. We might do, we sorry, have the hiccups. We might do some Korean. We might do, um, his, so Juan's brother is like a restaurant connoisseur. He knows all the good places to go. So we might be going, I'm just waiting to hear his recommendation before making any final decisions as to where exactly we're gonna go for dinner. Our original idea was we were gonna go to the Christmas market, which is Queen East. Uh, but it looks like we're gonna go to another market, um, a pop-up market that's actually happening at Toronto City Hall so that should be cute so yeah i will definitely i'll definitely bring you guys along with me wherever we end up going tonight <laughs> come in Benita. hi boo hello hello hi everyone it's work so how was it? How was work? How was life? It was good. Maybe just a oh, little tired, I guess. Did you have a long night? Yeah, no. What do you mean? Long day. You got a long day and long night. Oh, yesterday you mean? Last night? Wait, I don't want to drive. I don't want to drive. No, 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 no. You drive. You drive. No, I'm not. No, 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 no. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Go, go, go. No, 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 no. I don't want to. Okay, so we're now in the car with Juanito. See, I'm now I'm forced to drive. <laughs> okay, okay, so I just changed I just changed my shirt, my sweater, something more comfortable. I refreshed my makeup, brushed my teeth, got ready, refreshed, and now we are on our way. We decided on none of those things I mentioned before. Um, we're not doing any of the restaurants I mentioned. We're now going for pizza instead. So there's actually a new pizza restaurant that just opened up um, really close to our house. So we're going to walk there. And yeah, so stay tuned for some pizza. You know what's so funny? Actually, I don't even like cheese. So when I order pizza, I ask for next to no cheese. Like I literally say, can I get a sprinkle? They're like, oh, easy on the cheese, right? I'm like, no, 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 no. You don't understand. Like a sprinkle of cheese is all i am looking for and um so basically I eat like bread bread and like some pepperoni i'm so basic like that so <laughs> if you see that i have nothing but some like the tiniest bit of cheese and some pepperoni on a piece of bread then i'm just weird like that are you excited for four 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 I excited for pizza. I excited for pizza. I excited for pizza. I excited for pizza. Turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it up. Turn it, turn it up. Turn it, turn it up. <laughs> get it, girl. Yes. yes. Let's go get pizza. Let's go, almost. Okay. Show them, show them, show them. 
this looks, guys. So this here, I got um, some sausage on there. Got some onions, some basil. <laughs> Where is it from? What's that? Uh, margarita. Margarita. This is the Don Diego. So good. <laughs> Delicious. All right, boo. What you get? Loving cup. It's just pepperoni pizza. Alright guys, so we're just here walking home after dinner. Um, we didn't end up going to the Christmas market because it was just it's just we're all tired. So we're gonna go it another day. We're gonna go skating plus, together and maybe. Plus we work bit. in the morning. So And we work in the morning too, so we're being we're, we're mature and responsible adults. Adulting. Exactly. Good morning everyone. So we are just on our way to go take some photos today for Style by Dean Ashley. Um, after that I'm going to come back, edit the photos. I'm also going to do a little video for my YouTube channel. Which you guys are And then watching. I'm going to work. And then he's going to be going to work. So yeah, that is what's happening. So come with us as we take some photos for Style by Dean Ashley. Come on, come on. Okay, so here is a full shot of my outfits. Got my sock boots, my fashion joggers, Levi sweater, and my camo jacket that got from Clamonico so long ago. And my Charlotte Tilbury makeup look. This is a Dolce Vita look. And my tote bag. So we are now ready to go. See a tower. All right, so I just got home. Now it's time to open my packages. So I'm gonna open the first one. This one I got from Amazon. So I ordered a new microphone so that way I'm gonna making my YouTube videos, so I get tutorials and stuff. The audio will be a lot clearer and sharper. But yeah, this was supposed to arrive weeks and weeks and weeks ago. And I just thought that it was the, the shipment and delivery was delayed. Turns out that it, it's been waiting at my front desk, a concierge, for like a week or two weeks is what he said. Um, I just didn't get a notification telling me to go pick it up. that I got. This is what I've been waiting for. So, for those of you who don't know, I wear weaves. I wear weaves, I wear extensions, I wear wigs. Um, I do this because you get to change up your hair. You don't have to put any heat on your hair. You can, you know, you're, you can change your look easily by the hair on your head. And it's, they're, typically, wigs are really low maintenance. And so I've been on the hunt for months and months and months and months and months trying to find a really good wig that was not crazy, crazy, crazy expensive. Like, I mean, some of these wigs that I'm looking at online are like $3,000, $2,500 US. And to me, that's a vacation times two. Like, that is just a little outrageous. So, I finally, after seeping through, through seeping, through sipping, not sipping, through skimming, let's just use that word, through skimming through tons and tons of reviews, I stumbled across RPG. Can you see this? I've actually never ordered a hair hair online that's already been made. I either I buy bundles and then after I'll buy closure and have to get it made, but I've never actually just ordered a straight up wig before. Look at that. I've never even cut lace before. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna try it on. I'm gonna try this thing on. Okay, so right now I'm looking all kinds of crazy. Let me zoom in. Right now I'm looking all kinds of crazy, but typically what happens is when you um, put a wig on, then you have your natural hair braided underneath. Because I already have extensions on right now, um, then I don't even think it would all fit underneath this cap. Right now I'm looking at all types of crazy because I have my, oh, let me zoom out, oh, not in, there we go. 
because I have my weave on, my, my extensions on here underneath, and then I have the wig on top, uh, so I look crazy right now. I just wanted to see what the hairline and stuff was going to look like. I've never had this type of hairline before. I think it looks good. Unstyled, fresh out the box. So imagine, imagine this whole thing cut, and then, so it looks like, the scalp looks like it's coming, looks like it's coming from my head. It looks like it's mine. It looks so cool. So if the wind blows, doesn't matter. You have to worry about track showing. Just, it looks like it's your natural hair. And you can also put this hair up in ponytail. You can flip it from like side to side. It looks like it's coming from your scalp. I have no idea how to cut this thing. I have never done that before. I'm so scared. So scared. All right, guys, so I'm just on my way to go to Dark Horse Cafe. It's just here, the one, the Spadina location. It's really nice, really good coffee. So I'm gonna get myself an espresso and then work on editing and just getting my life in order. I like doing these things outside of the house because when you're inside the house and sometimes you can just get a little bit sidetracked. So that's what we're on our way to go do. Sign off here. I am going to. I'm probably gonna watch. Have you guys seen the show This Is Us? Oh my god, you gotta stop. I know it's a good um series, but every time you watch an episode, you end up crying. Yeah, because I can relate to the show. It, it really touches home with me. Drop a comment below. Let me know. Do you guys do you guys get emotional watching that show too? This Is Us is such a it's such a heartfelt show. I don't know. It just touches right here. Oh, it is. It is nice. Don't get me wrong, but it's just every time I'm either rating or doing something, and all I hear is like, <laughs> I turn around and you're crying. So yeah, it's funny, but yeah. Well, I'm probably gonna start crying again today because I'm gonna go watch that right now. So we just wanted to say good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. And thank you for watching.